beginning of my health and fitness journey, I just had horrible, just gut health, horrible gut problems. Look and how beautiful. If you guys didn't know, I'm so mixed ethnic. Um, my husband and I actually did a DNA test. Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing yet another what I eat in a day, but today's video I really wanted to focus on what I specifically eat or just choices that I make that just maintains a good gut health because in the beginning of my fitness journey or the beginning of my health and fitness journey, I just had horrible just gut health, horrible gut problems. And there are many reasons to that. One being that I was on the birth control pill, that just messed up my gut. Two, I used to take in the beginning of my fitness journey um, whey protein and that just totally gave me the worst painful bloating ever until I switched to a vegan protein. And then vegan protein obviously really helped, but I'm just doing a little bit more research on different types of protein and the ingredients and everything. So as you guys saw for breakfast, I made a little pro meal. That's what I like to call it. I used to eat this like every single day for the first two years when I used to work at my nine to five law firm job and I would make it into the kitchen and then bring it into my little cubicle and eat it every single day. I loved it and then I obviously got bored of it so I got into a green smoothie kick. For my oatmeal base, I used gluten-free sprouted oats. If you do a little bit more research, gluten is kind of heavy on your gut. Going gluten-free doesn't mean you're gonna lose weight. I feel like there's a lot of misconception around that. So I'm really just going gluten-free because I actually read an article that one guy, he went gluten-free, 20 years later, they found the same gluten from 20 years ago in his gut. So it kind of obviously is very hard to digest. So just going gluten-free can be beneficial for your gut. And I've noticed that has been really, really good for my health. So I've been gluten-free for almost a year now. I'm about 98% gluten-free. I don't want it to be super restrictive and unhealthy. So just wanted to mention that. But And then the sprouted oats. So if you guys didn't know, sprouted is just has a little bit more micronutrients and it's just easier to digest. So that's again gonna be really good for your gut health. And then I put a scoop of bone broth protein. So if you guys didn't know, bone broth is really amazing for your gut. I'll have some links down below if you wanna read a little bit more about it, but I love it so much because it is basically pure collagen. So it's gonna be really, really good for your hair and your skin. I've been using this protein for a while now and I've been testing it out. And because this specific brand doesn't have a lot of sugar or sweeteners, I definitely recommend if you do try it to, especially in oatmeal, to just put like honey or agave on top just to make it a little bit more sweeter because it can be a little 
bitter in some way. Um, but when I put it in my smoothies, as you guys see in my other videos, you cannot taste it, it tastes super sweet. So it's just in the prop meal, it's a little bit bitter. And then I added just like a handful of some frozen berries. Berries are gonna be really good for antioxidants, obviously, a whole bunch of micronutrients like vitamin C, all that stuff. So that is what I had for breakfast. And then obviously before breakfast on an empty stomach, I always have warm lemon water. I have these frozen lemon slices on hand at all time, and I just pour hot water over it just so that I can get like a lukewarm temperature. Drink that, wait, and then eat my breakfast because lemon water is really good for your digestion as well, and it just helps support your liver, especially you know throughout the night, your body's detoxification process and all that stuff. So. That was a mouthful. So if you guys watch my other videos, I have been really into just doing a little bit more research and then switching some things in my lifestyle to go more towards low toxic living because there's toxins in every little thing, like from skincare to lotion to perfumes to your pots and pans. And the more research I do, the more my eyes are being opened and how detrimental it can be towards your hormones and it can really just disrupt your endocrine system. So with all of that being said, I decided to switch over to non-toxic cookware because I didn't realize how toxin-filled my cookware that I had was. Okay, if you guys watch my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen my pots and pans. I've had the Teflon pans, which apparently are, I think, the worst, especially if they're scratched, because if they're scratched, it can the toxins can go through into the food while you're cooking, and my pots and pans are scratched. So I was just shook at the research that I was reading about Teflon pans and the toxins that come out of it. Yeah, you know I cleared those out of my um, cabinets. So I got new pots and pans from the brand Caraway. I have been doing a lot of research and comparing and contrasting and reading the reviews and Caraway was the best so far that I've read. And what's funny is that I first started hearing about Caraway because I was at Publix and the cash register lady was talking to me about um, like pots and pans because I bought like a meatloaf pan because <laughs> I was making meatloaf that night. But she was saying that she got Caraway two years ago and they're non-toxic, they're um, non-slip and all that stuff. So she absolutely loved it. She couldn't recommend it enough. So that kind of what pushed me into Caraway even more and Obviously, their pots and pans are so beautiful. I've been talking in this mirror for so long. I'm just gonna show you what they look like because they're so beautiful. Okay, are y'all ready to see the beauty of these pots and pans? Look and how beautiful. I actually got this earlier last week and I wanted to try it out before talking about it on YouTube or social media just to see how I personally like it while cooking and everything. Spoiler alert, I absolutely love it so much. They are just amazing quality and this color, oh, this color is so beautiful. This is the sage color. So the reason why I chose this color is because Obviously, our house is all white and tan, and I really want to start adding um, more like neutral colors, if that makes sense. So I have a lot of plants, and I thought the green color would really go well with my plants around the house and everything, and it's just a beautiful color. Like So like I said, these pans are non-toxic, and it comes with a ceramic coating. I'm trying to show you guys the inside. I'm going to cook dinner with this so you guys will see a better view, but it is ceramic coated and it's non-stick as well, so you barely need oil or butter, but here is a better overview of this set. So with this set, you get this canvas lid holder, which it comes with the hooks as well, which is super, super convenient, and this magnetic pot holder. So when I first unboxed my pots and pans, I was so impressed with the packaging and the little details behind everything. I'll put some clips up right here when I first opened it. Okay, so I was so excited to show you my pans that I totally forgot to mention that Caraway actually gave me a discount link for you guys to use to save 10% site-wide. So make sure you guys go ahead to the description box down below to save 10% off. 
Okay, so I typically in my wedding mini day videos, I always like cook lunch and do like aesthetic montage and everything. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna show you real life. So last night, Sean and I had dinner with my family. My mom made spaghetti. And so obviously when you have dinner with your parents and your mom makes a yummy meal, you're gonna take leftovers. So I took leftovers last night and that is what I'm having for lunch today. Oh. My mom must have her ear itching because she literally just called me. So I thought it would be like the perfect time to talk about like my relationship with food when I was younger, type of foods I ate when I was younger and how I was raised and everything because I feel like that is very, very important in terms of like how when you're older and your relationship with food is now, it really is based on how you grew up and especially if you have a certain ethnic background and all that stuff. So growing up, my mom and dad pretty much ate clean I guess you can say um, they always made good like clean healthy meals because if you guys didn't know I have a special needs sister she's autistic so she has to have a diet of like gluten-free dairy-free and just eat whole nutritious food overall for her health so obviously when she has to eat like that we're all gonna eat like that. Also, if you guys didn't know, my dad, he has been into bodybuilding for like over decades. So he knows all about eating good foods, good protein, good carbs, and eating clean and all that stuff. So really, I grew up having just good, whole, nutritious foods. And if you guys didn't know, I'm so mixed ethnic. Um, my husband and I actually did a DNA test and I kind of already know what I am, but I never knew like the exact percentages of it all because my dad is mixed and my mom is mixed. Um, so I have a wide variety of ethnicities, but I guess you can say the main ones that I really identified as growing up is Japanese, Puerto Rican, and Filipino and white. <laughs> Those are the main ones. Or white Jewish, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually Jewish. With all of that being said, I grew up with so many different types of food. I have Filipino food, I have Hawaiian local food, I had Puerto Rican food. It's just all different types of food and I just think it's so interesting to hear someone's background of them growing up. Obviously, I'm not going to be super restrictive, especially if I go back home to Hawaii. I'm gonna have those foods. Um, probably not in excess amounts because I, your girl might get super painful bloating, but I just find it very interesting and I thought I would just share my story um, of how I grew up around food and everything and how it shaped who I am today. Anyways, this is what I'm having for lunch. My mom did make gluten-free noodles for me. This is grass-fed bison as the meat and the spaghetti sauce and everything and my mom as well is so into just eating clean whole foods no processed added stuff so everything is homemade and yummy so i'm gonna have this and she also made me some gluten-free cornbread she's so cute so i'm gonna have that for lunch Okay, so here is my little midday snack. It's been a couple hours since I had lunch. I've been editing for way too long, so I need a snack. I have some kiwi. I've been on a huge kiwi kick recently. And then this is some bone broth. Yes, I'm having bone broth again, but this is actually a packet. I can't think of the brand name. It's not on the packet. My mom actually got it for me. I think we should dedicate this video to my mom because she is just 
the best. But my mom got me these packets of bone broth when I was sick a few months ago and I've had a whole bunch of leftover. And this brand tastes so, so yummy. It tastes like soup, but obviously I'm drinking it out of a mug. But like I said, bone broth is really, really good for your gut. So having that with some kiwi for my snack. And also bone broth like this, the powder form has so much protein. This little mug has 10 grams of protein. And obviously my breakfast and lunch was very carb heavy, so I just wanted to have some pure protein and some fruit on the side. Mm. This smells like dookie, <laughs> but it's so good. All right, so this is dinner. We are starving and it's pretty late, so Sean just cooked these teriyaki burgers on the pan. And then I got white rice. They say that white rice is better for your gut because it doesn't have the outer bran, like brown rice, so it's just easier to digest. And then kimchi is obviously really good for your gut because it's fermented and anything fermented is really good for your gut. So we're gonna scarf this down. <laughs> So I totally forgot to end the video because we were just so tired and hungry that I just forgot. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and just was inspired by all these recipes. I do plan on making a dedicated video where I talk about all of the tips and tricks that I do to just maintain a good gut health. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I will see you or talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.